Thank you. So one of the um, one of the visions of Love Running is that we we get friends, or we get fit, we get friends, and we change the world. And the international justice mission is doing that very thing. They are changing the world by going after the injustices that we see in our, in our world, in other parts of the world. And we've had a bit of a video. We can see a little bit of what you do, but I want you to tell us as if we know absolutely nothing about what you do. So Esther, tell us what what does the International Justice Mission, what do you do? Sure, thank you. And just to say hello, everybody. Um, my name's Esther. I'm delighted to be with you. Um, I'm part of the team that helped to lead IJM here in the UK. And I want to start by saying a massive thank you um, for what you're going to do, which is something really, really powerful. Um, we've just watched a bit of the story of IJM, but in a nutshell... IJM is a global organisation, the largest of our kind, um, and we work all around the world, on the ground, in the trenches, to, to find and, and bring to freedom children and families who are caught in cases of Monday slavery, um, of human trafficking, um, of violent impression. Um, we work to get them out of those situations um, and, and to help those individuals heal. And then we work on the other end of the issue. We actually work to um, strengthen justice systems, to hold perpetrators to account, and to affect systemic change. And, um, and what we find is that when you partner those things together, so working with individuals and then working to fix the broken system, it is possible to see dramatic change. You've seen a snapshot there, but God is really on the move in this whole justice area, and, and it's our privilege to, to join in and play our part, seeing um, thousands brought to freedom each year and actually whole nations begin to change too. That is amazing. It's amazing what you do. Now when we hear about slavery, a lot of us think we learned about it at school, mm. didn't it happen 100 years ago, haven't we abolished it? But tell us, is, is slavery still a modern problem? Mm. Thank you. I mean... You've, 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 you've made a great point. I don't know about you, but I learned about slavery in my history lessons in school, um, looking at pictures in, in, in black and white. And um, I know as a, as a city, that's, that's a poignant part of, of history here too. Um, but the reality is, is if when we hear the word slavery, the image that comes to our mind is in black and white, then sadly, we need to fast update that into full colour because it is alive and well today. Um, we're at the point in history where there are an estimated 50 million people in slavery today. That is more than at any other point since records began. That is about the population of Spain, uh, to put that in context. Um, and one in four of those are children. Just let that sink in for a moment. You see, slavery just looks very different to how it used to and how we might have learned about it at school. And it takes different forms. Um, it might look like sexual exploitation. Um, that's probably the type you'll actually read about most in the news. So the teenage girl trafficked from Romania to the streets of Bristol um, and, and forced um, into that sort of slavery. It looks like forced labour, so families in brick kilns or in sweatshops perhaps making um, the items that, that some of us buy. It looks like child slavery, um, so children being forced to work when they should be in school, um, domestic servitude, um, slavery in the confines of a home to, to then really, really modern forms of slavery. Um, some of you might have even seen the news this week. There was a, um, the headline of ITV News this week on Wednesday, I think it was, was around forced scamming, so people being trafficked to commit crimes, um, and then issues of online exploitation. So truly slavery in its most modern form where the internet is facilitating the, the abuse of, of young people. So lots of different forms but things that it has in common is that it destroys people's god-given potential it robs individuals of their hope um, and we know that that freedom is needed in those situations um online exploitation i mean we are interested in in supporting mm. a project to help combat it how do you go about combating online sexual exploitation yeah, yeah so as part of love running um your support is is going to go towards a particular project which is combating the online sexual exploitation of children and now this is a form of slavery that is every bit as dark um, as it sounds. Um, I won't go into detail particularly, um, but um, it often involves the abuse of very young children 
facilitated over the internet um, in countries like the Philippines. Um, and uh, sadly, the UK as a nation um, are driving a lot of this demand. Um, we are the third largest consumer of that sort of abuse of anywhere that in the world. That is humiliating, isn't it? As a, a, a member of Britain, that's awful. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, shocking. you're right. And um, it's, it's work that is really difficult. It's really dark. It's hard to get your head around. And um, IGM are working on the grounds in the Philippines, but also globally to bring a, a kind of global law enforcement together to, to actually tackle this crime. And um, the good news is we are seeing um, that it is possible to change that. Over the last few years, um, we've helped to bring over 1,200 children into freedom and, and to then support them in their healing journey. Um, we've seen lots of perpetrators held to account. And um, I've recently actually had the privilege of getting to know the story of one young woman for whom um, we've been helping work with. Um, her name's Ruby. And just to paint a picture, I can't show you a picture of her face, but um, she's a remarkable young woman. Um, she's actually one of those hilarious young people who, you know, if you meet those young people who can kind of drop a single sarcastic line and have a whole room in fits, she, she's one of those young people and she's hilarious. But Ruby was the victim of online sexual exploitation when she was 16. She was promised a job in a computer shop. And when she turned up to that job, it turned out to be a lie. And she describes um, the moment that the door was locked behind her as being like a bomb going off in her head. And um, she talks about that dark season in her life of being like there, being locked in a dark room um, without any light. That's how she describes that situation. And she actually tried to escape and was recaptured and told that if she tried uh, to escape again, she wouldn't make it out alive. And um, it was after that that she um, tells a story of actually getting on her knees and praying, God, if you're real, get me out of here. Um, she didn't know at the time that IJM and police were working to try and find her, but it was the day after she prayed that prayer that the team finally located wow. her. Yeah. And we were able to bring her out into safety along with five other young women who were with her. And um, she's now go on, gone on to be the most incredible leader. Um, she actually spoke to the UK Parliament earlier last year around the online safety bill and shared her story to basically call our Parliament, call our MPs um, to take action. And she, she, um, she challenged them to change their words, not, uh, change the world, not just with their words, but with their example. Change the world, not just with your words, but with your example. And in some ways, I think that's what you guys are going to do with lo Love Running, is, is not just changing the world with your words, but actually with your actions mm. and your examples. So, Just on that subject, what mm. does it mean for people in IJM oh. and also people who've been released yeah. and, and set free? What does it mean to see all of us running and raising money? You know what? It is a massive encouragement. And to be able to share with individuals like Ruby and other survivors that we work with, I'm like, I can't wait to actually share. There are 200, 300 people that are taking to the streets um, as part of the movement with you. Um, you know, these things, they thrive in the dark. Slavery thrives in the dark. And yet, what you guys are going to be doing is to shine a light on that. And it sends a really powerful message that you are not alone, that there is a community of movement of people who are standing with you, who are moving with you, who are standing in solidarity with you. Um, so it, it means a huge, huge amount. It's a massive encouragement to us as a team. I have to say, we've been just blown away by what a privilege it is to partner with you all. So um, a huge, huge thank you. And if there's anybody here who wants to do more than just fundraising in Love Running for IJM, um, how can they get involved? How can they mm. find out more about yeah. getting involved? Yeah, thank you. Well, first of all, just to say on the fundraising side, a massive, massive thank you because the work of justice is, is fueled by people like you. And um, whether it's £25, whether you end up raising collectively 
£25,000, it'll all go towards the work of freedom, of justice, of, 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 of bringing systemic change. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But for those of you that want to go a step further, there are loads of ways you can get involved. Um, by getting um, involved personally, um, getting praying for this work. Um, if you um, go onto the IJM UK website, um, there's a page that says Get Updates. Um, I'd really encourage you, ijmuk.org slash updates, to sign up to get updates. Um, that'll just get you equipped with information, stories, ways you can pray, ways you can get involved. Um, and uh, you might personally, outside of Love Running, want to get involved. Um, you can sign up to be what's called a freedom partner. I know we've got some freedom partners in the room already. Thank you, we love you. Um, they're the people that give towards this work on a monthly basis and, and, and fuel the work of freedom and justice. And um, some of you, hopefully, in your goodie bags, um, have picked up some of these postcards. If you want to become a freedom partner, you can do that today by scanning the back of the code. And in fact, um, if you do, the first four of you, I've got some keep cups. Come and show me that you've done that. And um, I'll give you a keep cup to say thank you and remind you um, what you're part of. But um, sign up to pray, follow on social media, be a freedom partner if you can. And um, yeah, let's start journeying with this work and the work of justice and the call to justice that we know is central um, to the call to all of us. Um, and, and, and get involved. There's loads you can do. And talking of journeying with us, you're going to be helping us to get motivated and, and keep our focus on what, what we're doing all this um, training for. So we're going to be hearing from you in the next few weeks. How are we going to be hearing from you? Yes, you're going to be hearing loads about IJM. Um, in the emails that you're going to be getting, we're going to equip you with stories, encouragements, facts to help you actually share um, on your fundraising journey. Um, I'd also encourage you to give IJM UK a follow on socials um, so that you can be sharing these stories and then when you're approaching colleagues and um, friends and family and someone to sponsor you you've got kind of um, resources and stories up your sleeve to be like look this is why I'm doing this this is why I'm taken to the streets um, and, uh, and that'll help you there but yeah we are going to be journeying alongside you the team some of the team are going to be coming down um, for the race itself and we can't wait to cheer you on and and to be part of the journey with you so thank you um, we're massively grateful and excited for all that's going to happen Thank you so much. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for sharing with us. And Pleasure. thank you for all your encouragements. Could you please give Esther Thank a you. massive round of applause?